Hello, Rivera teachers. Here is another bite-sized PD for you. Uh, this PD will be covering Vocaroo and how to create your audio and then insert to Google Slides. So what I'm gonna do here first is uh, begin by recording my message. I'm going to click here. Good morning, students. Here is the agenda for this week. Read it over. And if you have any questions, please uh, message me via Google Classroom. Have a great day. So now, uh, if I'm satisfied with my message, I could uh, play it. If I don't like it, I can redo it, or I can save by downloading. So I'm going to be downloading it there on the bottom of my window. And then I'm going to go to my drive. I have my folder already created, as you can see it here. I put a, a symbol, a couple of symbols in front, so that way it'll be in the front of my folders. But I personally like to open my folders so I can slide it in. It just uh, works more smoothly. I don't like to have uh, items accidentally added to other folders or just released in the drive and then it's hard to find them. So I just open the folder and I drag in. And now I know for sure that it's going to be living in this folder. I'm going to wait till I see that check mark that tells me it's been uploaded. So now I can go to the Google slide and I can add my message here. Now, if I want to insert a call out first, I can. And I can uh, click and add, for example, this symbol here. I can um, add color or a, a white background. And then I might give it a color and then add a dimension to the outline. And now I'm ready to slide it in. So I'm going to go to insert and click audio. It's going to open the most recent inserted audio that's in the drive, which is this one here. And now I can select. And it's going to insert it here. There you go. And now I have my audio message here. I can click it. Good morning, students. Here is the agenda for this week. And see that it's the right one. So now this is how you can insert a bite-size, um, sorry, a Vocaroo um, audio uh, message for your students. This is very handy, not just for inserting to an, uh, an agenda or uh, an interactive uh, classroom, but you also can add this to your worksheets. So for example, if you have math worksheets that you're adding to slides and assigning them, then you could read the directions for the students. And this would be very helpful for students that need that extra support and need repeated directions. Um, you can add it to um, slides that have worksheets in grammar or uh, reading, anything like that. You can also teach your students how to use Vocaroo. And for example, if you have a passage that is um, a fluency passage, you can insert a fluency passage to the slide and then teach them how to add a Vocaroo because it is free, they can add it to their uh, drive, and then they can record themselves reading the passage and then add it to the slide. And now they have you have um, a uh, sampling of their uh, flu reading fluency. So these are just some ideas. I hope you enjoyed this bite-sized PD on Vocaroo. And if you need other help, please don't hesitate to call on me. Have a wonderful day.